My name is Travis McCarty. I'm an applications engineer here at National Instruments, and today I'll be addressing the question, what is a virtual instrument? Using a comparison between a virtual instrument, or VI, and a conventional benchtop instrument. Standalone traditional instruments, such as this oscilloscope, are designed to perform one or more specific tasks defined by the vendor. In general, you cannot extend or customize these tasks. The knobs and buttons on the instrument, the built-in circuitry, and the functions available to the user are all specific to the nature of the instrument. An instrument defined by its vendor, not by you. Now, say you want more control over your instrument. Say you need your instrument to perform one particular set of tasks today, but you may need your instrument to perform a different set of tasks tomorrow. You can achieve this functionality with a virtual instrument, where you are offered a customer-defined PC-based measurement and automation solution. A virtual instrument is a combination of software and hardware that allows you to acquire, analyze, and present. The software provides you with the flexibility while the hardware provides you with the modularity. Here we see a direct comparison between a traditional vendor-defined instrument and a customer-defined PC-based measurement and automation solution. As you can see, both instruments share the same components. You're acquiring data to RAM, analyzing that data with a processor, and storing that data to a hard disk. But one instrument is limited while the other is limitless. National Instruments provides scientists and engineers the ability to define their own measurement and automation solutions by leveraging the power of personal computers that they already own and are familiar with using. With traditional vendor-defined instruments, users are restricted. They are limited to the capabilities of the hardware and software of the particular instrument that they have purchased. Allow me to demonstrate a virtual instrument in action. Here we have a virtual instrument composed of a Dell PC, a National Instruments Data Acquisition Board, LabVIEW as the application development environment, and NI DACMX as the driver software. For our hardware setup, we connected the data acquisition board to a signal accessory where we wired the sine wave function generator to an analog input. Now, watch as I unleash the power of this virtual instrument on the same signal that we've been processing on the benchtop oscilloscope. For those of you who may be unfamiliar with LabVIEW, let me briefly point out that it consists of a front panel and a block diagram. The front panel, shown here on the left, is a graphical user interface where the user can interact with a virtual instrument. The block diagram, shown here on the right, contains the graphical code. Here, our algorithm follows the basic paradigm of acquire, analyze, and present. First, we employ a data acquisition assistant to acquire the signal. Then, we drop down the scaling and mapping express VI to scale the signal amplitude. Finally, we use a waveform graph to present the data. The three steps are placed inside a while loop, which can be stopped with a front panel control. Now, as I run this simple program, you can watch a virtual instrument in action. Throughout this presentation, I have used the graphical application development environment known as LabVIEW. With LabVIEW, you can develop your own custom virtual instruments using a graphical, data-driven programming architecture. LabVIEW also gives you the ability to design custom graphical user interfaces to easily control a virtual instrument. When you combine the versatile graphical programming capabilities of LabVIEW with the robust, seamlessly integrated families of National Instruments hardware products, you can create a tool more powerful, flexible, and adaptable than any standalone instrument. For more information on how you can use National Instruments hardware and software products to build your own virtual instrument, check out www.ni.com.